Hi, welcome to Storytime with the Wicklow County Council Library Service. My name is Loretta from the Wicklow Branch, and today I'm going to be reading Dream Big, Little Mole, written by Tom Percival and illustrated by Christine Pym. Upon a hillside early one morning, a mole sniffed the air as a new day was dawning. She gazed at the birds as they soared through the sky and wished in her heart that she could fly. She watched as the ducks splashed along in the water, but mole couldn't swim because no one had taught her. She saw a grasshopper leap and squirrel climb high. I wish I could do that, she said with a sigh. Owl heard the mole sigh and flew down from her tree. Just be who you are, said the owl. That's the key. Dream big, little mole. Be brilliant. Be you. Then off the owl flapped with a loud Mole tried to dream big, but her thoughts were a blur. Nothing she dreamt up felt quite right for her, until something struck her. She cried, Owl, so clever! My skill is to dig. The biggest hole ever! She dug deep through the soil, so fast and so keen. Her hole would be bigger than any yet seen. She dug down ever deeper through mud and past rocks. And fell through the roof of a flute-playing fox. Well, thank you, said Fox, although not very kindly. I thought that the worst of this week was behind me. My friend moved away. Now I'm here all alone. And to make matters worse, you've just ruined my home. I'm sorry, said Mole. I don't know what to say. But Fox rolled his eyes and just shooed her away. So Mole tunneled on, feeling slightly forlorn, until a voice cried, You've just ruined my lawn! Mole had dug up into somebody's garden. I'm sorry, she said, I do beg your pardon. First my hose gets a hole, said Hodge Hedgehog distressed, and now look what you've done, you've made such a mess. Mole repeated, I'm sorry, but there came no reply. So she went on her way with a tear in her eye. Up above ground, Rabbit ran without care. He was watching his kite bob along through the air. Then he tripped on some mud Mole had dug from the ground and his kite flew away without making a sound. Mole watched as the kite floated off, drifting free. Then it got tangled high up in a tree. Rabbit started to cry and then scurried away, leaving Mole all alone. This wasn't her day. Poor little Mole had a sad, heavy heart. It seemed her big dream was now falling apart. She'd wanted to dig, make the world's best hole, but she'd made people sad, and that wasn't her goal. No more, she exclaimed. I will give up for good. Then a beautiful melody ran through the wood. She followed the tune, digging carefully on until... She met Otter, who asked what was wrong. When Mole explained, Otter sang, Just keep on going, 
You will dig your hole. This is no time for slowing. I've practiced a lot to sing clear and true, and practice makes perfect whatever you do. So Mole dug back down till her paws felt all soggy, and she noticed the ground was now feeling quite boggy. Oh no, panicked Mole, her whiskers a quiver. She seemed to have dug through the bank of a river. The water gushed out, flowing faster and faster. Had little Mole's dream become a disaster? When she popped above ground, Mole was feeling quite tense. Her digging had set off a chain of events. The water gushed out, shooting high up a tree in a powerful jet that set rabbits kite free. In Hedgehog's dry garden, a shower of rain meant everything started to grow once again. From the top of a spout, Fox heard Otter's sweet song. And in no time at all, he was playing along. All the problems were solved, and Mole felt so glad she'd brought strangers together. They were no longer sad. They laughed as they worked to clear everything up, and Mole marveled at what can come out of bad luck. Well, what an adventure, said Owl. In the end, it seems that your talent is helping your friends. The end. Thank you for joining us today, and I'll see you next time.